everybody here. Okay, I know I look like a little crappy uh, because I don't have any makeup on. And um, yeah, for the past few days, I've been feeling really crappy or, or stressed. More stressed, lah, I guess. Because of um, I have work and then I also have um, my exams uh, about past for the past week. So I'm feeling really stressed out. And when I'm stressed, I don't care about my appearance. But... I'm so glad that my exams are over so now I have a little more time on my hands and I just want to make this video to showcase to you things that I have um, gotten in the mail now I think in my previous video I did say like I don't want to spend any more money on makeup in October and hopefully in November well I did a pretty good job like I yes I still did buy some stuff but um, I didn't buy a lot of them, just one or two things and um, yeah, I have been trying to curb back because I have been spending way too much money um, and also I'm saving up to buy the Naked Tree palette which is going to come out soon and also on some Tarte cosmetics so I, in December so I thought that I should know save money in October and November and then splurge on in, the, in December because it's like a Christmas month so now I just want to start off uh, with some things that I want, uh, I want to show you that I got in the mail. Some of this I got like pretty early, like even before November, like end of October. And also I want to make this video into a video where I let you know like um where I actually purchased my items online and what are some of the good things that I purchased online which I feel are much better than if you buy them from the uh, from the shopping mall or from uh, local stores because they are more they are cheaper to buy online than you know elsewhere so um, let me start off with um, the things that I got in the mail and uh, at the same time I might probably tell you like the price so that you know that you are you are saving like more money and um, the first one that I remember that came was this one. This one is the Etude House uh, Nim Aura Volume. This one is the sample uh, size one. But there are actually 10 samples inside here. And um, I bought this because I wanted like um, dewy finish to my um, skin nowadays. As compared to you know matte skin which looks a bit like mask like. So I, I've heard like the Nim Aura is one of those um, you know big things in Korea to give the Korean stars their dewy look so I just decide to pick this up. I didn't want to buy the full size because I want to make sure that um, I liked it before I decide to buy the full size and there are 10 samples in here which is almost equivalent to half of the full size um, one. So I picked this up and the one that I got is in number 3 and I I have used like one sample of it and I really really liked it. And um, the next one which I also got in the mail is, I think I I wanted to say this in my previous um, video but they haven't arrived yet. And now, I mean they have finally arrived and um, one of it is this um, Innisfree um, Color Glow Lipstick in number 6. Um... I have used this um once and it's a very nice you know burgundy kind of very suitable for like you know autumn or anything but in Singapore um every day is summer so it doesn't really matter when you actually wear it but um it's a really nice you no know, burgundy red color and I wore this to a wedding dinner which I've attended like recently and I've gotten compliments so I kind of liked it and I I'm, I can't wait to wear it again. Um, I also bought the, this one. This one is the Revlon Color Burst um, Lipstick. In, I mean Color Burst Lip Gloss in Bodex 016, uh, 016 um, Bodex. Now I bought this on one of the shops on um, one of the stores on eBay. All the sellers on eBay. And this one was really really cheap. This one was I think after with shipping it cost about 8 bucks. So it's like way cheaper. I think it was less than half the price of what you get when you buy it in Singapore because Singapore sells like Revlon Color Burst for $17.90 I believe and I got this for 8 bucks. So it's actually less than half the price of the Singapore uh half of the Singapore store's price. And um I have not tried this yet but I've seen people wearing this and it looks really really nice on them. I think it'll look nice with the Innisfree Color Glow lipstick. So I'm wait to uh, wear that as well 
and um, two items which I just recently purchased from SG Beauty which is the online community on live journal one of it is the VDL triple shot I got this I it came in the mail about two days ago and um, it's one of those like um kind of one of their special products it's like um it comes like that it's it's a tri color so it's there are three colors here with the uh, redest one on top then there's a medium red on in the middle and then there's a nude color right at the end so it what it does is that it creates that um ombre lip uh lip look that I uh, mean most I mean Asian girls or maybe even the Caucasian community is crazy about me and this one cost twenty four dollars in the Singapore BDL shop at Suntech City and um, I picked this up for 10 bucks on SG Beauty someone was selling a brand new one for 10 bucks so I picked this up really quickly because um, I didn't want to try it and I don't want to splurge like the $24 on this so I'm, I'm really glad that I bought it for like 10 bucks and the last one is um this one is called the Miss Hana um, eyeliner in the just a regular black one um i've been trying to oh this one was really cheap this one was like six i think four bucks it was only four bucks and um it's quite brand new the person has only used it once so um i just decided to um pick this up because i needed something for my um water water line and most of the black eyeliners that i have does not stay on my water line because i it always smears underneath uh, on my eye bags or even when I when I try to line my upper waterline it always smears right to the bottom so I really hate that so um, I picked this up because I've I've seen like a demo on YouTube where this one is um, is resistant to oil and resist and it's also waterproof so something that I want to try and I will let you know if I really liked it um, yeah and um, some things that uh yeah now i want to talk about like um the places that i've uh i tend to shop online now actually beauty on live journal is one of the places that i visit the most because i always find really good deals on that website it's a website or a community that um people will actually sell off their makeup like uh, most of the time is um used makeup but sometimes you can actually find brand new stuff there that um that they have bought and they no longer they that they never use so they decide to sell it off at like a much lower price. So I often go there to buy my stuff because I find that I can get like really really um good deals and most of the time the items are probably used like once or twice and they are like once or twice is like the makeup is sort of barely it's like untouched you know it's almost untouched so it's almost like a brand new product and um the prices are like slashed to really low like below the like less than half of the, the original price so i mean if you're a person who don't mind using used makeup like i do then um i think you will enjoy shopping at that website and um just some stuff that i want to show you some really good buys that i got from um, SG Beauty. Some of them like I like really high end stuff like Nars, you know YSL, and even like Ella Mascara. All these kind of things. They, there are many many things that they sell. There, even as like ref, uh, even drug stores are also there, and they are like pretty decent or really low prices because they have been used. So you get the drift. So some of the items which I got that some of the things that I want to show you, which I got from there, which I um, which I find a really good deal. One of it is this um, Illamasqua blush. I think I bought this for like less than... I think it was only like 12 bucks and the person has only used it like once or twice. The other one which I thought was really a good steal as well was a NARS blush. I mean, I have two NARS blushes and both of them I bought them from that website because they are just cheaper than when you go to Tangs to buy. I think a NARS blush in Tangs costs like over $50. Whereas this one, for example, just a NARS blush in Luster. I got this for 
I think about thirty to thirty five dollars, so it's like half the price of an original Nas Nas blush kind of thing. Okay, now on to other websites. Now there are blog shops in Singapore that actually do sell like items that are not available in Singapore, like from United States or from England. So one of this shop is called um, Under Twenty. I'm going to link it in my info box below. This she sells like many items from like CoverGirl to you know Sleek to Maybelline to you know um Lorac or Tarte. I mean I mean previously Tarte was not in Singapore. They I mean Tarte just came to Singapore shops in Sephora this month but previously we didn't have Tarte so she was also selling like a lot of Tarte stuff like their blushes, their holiday sets kind of thing. So I mean that website under twenty is a website where you can actually buy items that uh, makeup items that you cannot find in um Singapore. So just um a couple of things that I want to show you that I have bought from that um website which uh makeup items which you cannot find in Singapore. One of which was this um col uh, Maybelline color tattoo in ink in the pink. This is one of my favorite like eyeshadow bases. This is the pink metallic one, and of course as I was saying, slick palettes. Yeah, and many other items. I think she is like selling the Tarte Holiday set now. The, you know, the blush palette that um Tarte has now on her website, which I don't think you can find it in Singapore as well. So I mean that website do sell like many things that um makeup items that you cannot find in Singapore. So you might want to check that website out. And um the prices are I mean they are slightly expensive, but um. I mean, if you are willing to pay the price for you know items that you cannot find in Singapore, then I mean, why not? And but they are still not super expensive. They are reasonably priced. Okay, the last thing, uh, and the last places that I do shop on are eBay. Now I have a lot of like eBay, um, contacts, or I I shop at a lot of eBay stores or seller stores, and I found some really good ones. And most of the time, I I use these shops because either like I cannot find the makeup item in Singapore, or it's much cheaper in to buy them online than in the stores. And one of it which I find is definitely worth checking out is to buy like Korean makeup on eBay rather than to buy them in the Singapore stores because they are way cheaper than. To buy them in Singapore stores, and one example is definitely Etude House. I believe that I've talked about this in my previous previous video about how Etude House is so much cheaper to buy online. It's like less than or half, or probably slightly more than half the price. For example, this lipstick. This one was the orange lipstick which I showed you about maybe a couple of videos ago. Like this one was only about ten bucks, whereas in um, Etude House, they are selling for like sixteen, seventeen dollars. So it's definitely much cheaper to buy them online. And um, I also picked up like um, um, the this one. I think this was also one of the items that came the in my mail, which I forgot to show you. And it's the Soap and Glory Glow Out. This this is one of the pink. This is actually a pink tone highlighter, and um, I do like this one. Okay, I bought this off eBay as well because um this is one of the soap and glory items that you cannot find in Singapore Sephora. I mean Singapore Sephora do have soap and glory, but they have not brought in like their entire range. So um their makeup, especially their makeup um section is quite there are actually quite little items on the makeup um section that they that um Sephora actually brought in. So I picked this up on eBay because I wanted to really try out this highlighter and I do like it. I will probably give an in-depth review in one of my in my favorites. So this one I picked this up for about twenty one dollars, I believe. So it was not that expensive. And um, yeah, I'm going to link it also in the info bar, uh, in the information box as well. Um, from Groupon, okay. Um, just some no space saving stuff. I I always shop on Groupon for all these kind of things like you know um things that I can save space and also like um uh vouchers like for you no know, dinners and for you know for meal like vouchers for meals. 
because that's what Groupon is all about. So um, I've got like some package from this one. This one is one of the things that I bought. This one is the hanging dress jewelry um, organizer which I bought. So you can actually, it's actually uh, like a dress but you can put all your jewelry inside here. So it actually has like all the pockets for you to put like your accessories and stuff. So I thought this is like, like really cool idea to save space. And the other one which I bought, I mean, you probably have heard of this before. Another one is one of these um, um, vacuum bags to save, you know, for your clothes.